The Ivy Tech Library started as a joint project between the college and the Tippecanoe County Public Library. When the county library expanded and moved to a new location, Ivy Tech created the Student Success Center, which houses the campus library and the new Learning Resource Center. Library Director Cindy Mitchell says it's a new level of support for the students. In addition to the physical volumes you see in the library, uh, we've got over 13,000 volumes, but online we have over 100 databases. Uh, we have millions of journal articles that are available to the students to use, um, electronic books. So the resources are really unlimited in what we can help them with. The new Learning Resource Center is located on the second floor with a computer lab and individual and group study spaces. This is the space for students to come on campus where they can choose if they want to work all by themselves in a quiet corner, if they want to come with classmates um, and work as a big group. But once they're here, we try to support them. Students can also schedule tutoring sessions with faculty or peers. Our learning commons is made to be very interactive. The walls are dry erase boards they can write on. The tables are dry erase boards. Um, the chairs, tables, everything is movable. So it's very flexible. The Lafayette campus is one of three Ivy Tech campuses with a learning commons. So far, over 2,500 students have made use of the new study area. With a new purpose, the building has been renamed Guype Hall. Marjorie Guype was part of the original staff of Ivy Tech when they opened their Lafayette campus in 1968. After her retirement in 1982, she and her husband Richard established a trust fund that went to Ivy Tech. The building here has now been named in their honor. Guype Hall is open to students and staff Monday through Thursday until 7 p.m., Friday until 5 p.m., and Saturday until 1.30. Dave North, Star City News, Ivy Tech Campus.